Hey everybody, I am Mikey, <laughs> and, and this I is am... Elise. Welcome to Type 1 Love, where we talk about diabetes, relationships, and answer some questions for you guys that you've been asking. Um, if you let's... don't know, we recently got engaged, so we're gonna get married, and we're so excited. So that's why we're doing the fiance, who's most likely to. Also, um, introducing you guys to Remy. Remy. In case they haven't, you haven't seen him before. Oh my god! Yeah, we've had a lot. Of, <laughs> we've had a lot of changes in our life since we last posted. He's a little bit of a dork, but he's licking the couch right now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so we had some questions that some of you asked us, and we also have some that we pulled from the web. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask them, or we're gonna read them aloud, and then at the same time we're gonna say whether it's either me or it's Mikey, and see if they match up. And yeah. Everything is gonna be. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so. If you watched our last video, we talked about our friend Daniel who asked us a couple questions and we only read one of them, so here's his Instagram and here's his next question. Who is more likely to save money? <laughs> okay. That's a hard one. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. I think it's yeah. just because we're both responsible, but he has more of like an impulsive Buyer, like if we were 100%. to go to Target, yeah, and that's the only reason. But he's... I walk into Target and I'm like, ooh, I want that, and ooh, I want that. Like useless things, you know. What oh, I mean? completely. Yeah, sometimes I'll do that too. If like we're in the makeup section, and I convince myself I need another shade of lipstick that I don't. But you're more like, oh my god, it looks cool. Let's get this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And his last question he asked was, who is more likely to aid a friend when they call late at night? Hmm. Okay. One, two, three. So, I feel like it's kind of both of us though. Yeah, both of us totally do Because if, if, a, if a friend had a problem late at night, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't really drive, and I would have no problem just taking you or right. going with you and helping out. He's the person that would jump in the car and go get them, and I'm the person that would instantly text them back or call them to like calm them down. Right. I feel like we're pretty equal in that. Right. Yeah. You know, as, as far as people I, I trust in the world. I've only got a couple of different friends and Daniel is definitely one of them because yeah. he's just, he's a genuine sweet being and I, you know, he was really there for you a lot and mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I trust him. He's and if guy. you've been watching me for a long time, you'll have heard his name before. Yeah. So yeah. Definitely give him a follow. <laughs> yes. On diabetes related questions. Uh, there's only one more. I just can't remember if it was. So while she looks for this, I recently mm -hmm. put my Omnipod on my chest. Oh. And you know, it was kind of the first time I've ever done that. It was a, a little weird at first, but I would say until about four or five hours before I had to change it, it was really comfortable. Other than that, it was, you know, around that time it was a little sore, but I mean, they usually are for me anyway. Like I tend to get a little bit of sight soreness, but I, I found it to be pretty comfortable. The only thing that was weird, it was almost like when you first get your ears pierced. It just feels it's like a foreign, foreign yeah. Foreign body kind of, I know yeah. it's there kind of thing, right. Okay, Amanda dot Elizabeth fourteen asked, "Who's more likely to go? Like, we'll say hi first, as as in high blood sugars, obviously." And I don't. Know. Okay, let's. All right, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if we agree as as usual. Okay. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Two, three. <laughs> we said each other. Well, I mean, the only I reason... feel like my average sugars might be higher in general, but I feel like your highs are higher than my highs. Right, but I'm saying like I'm not afraid of low blood sugars mm -hmm. so that's the only reason like I tend to uh, overcorrect while you tend to right. undercorrect okay so you let's don't do the like low, low who's more sugars. likely to go low one who's two. more likely to go low okay. <laughs> I am so scared Maybe. of going low that my A1C has actually gone up a lot it used to be so much better but I think I just at some point I got really paranoid about having the lows so I have been like not bolusing as much because I'm just so scared but it's something I'm working on and I have him to help me so we're there for each other. Yeah, for sure. Versus me where I woke up with two low blood sugars last night. Yeah, that's that's exactly the thing I'm trying to avoid. Yet when I woke up, my sugar was 300, so. But at the same time, my, my A1C was okay. Yeah. 7.3 because, I mean, I don't there's, there's, a, there's a huge swing. It's, I mean, we all know as a diabetic community that sometimes A1Cs are easier to control and yeah. sometimes they're... My best A1C was 5.9, but during that time I probably went low at least five times a week. And I was in high school and it would happen at school all the time. It happened when I'd wake up to go to school. So it was just like a really great A1C, but I was still like 
I was low all the time, and it, it was horrible. Versus me, where my best A1C was 6.3, and mm -hmm. I felt like I was consistently higher than I usually Weird. was. I had a 6.3 A1C like, I was, I was very seldomly low, but when I was low, it was yeah. bad. Like bad. What's your low. lowest? 18. Mine is 28, so as far as I know. Yeah. Yeah. Things happen. It happens. You just gotta roll with the punches. Do you have any more random questions? I think there's a couple of them in here. Who is more likely to bring home a stray puppy? Now, I'm not pointing any elbows here, but um, three, two, one. Yeah, it's definitely Elise. She has a soft spot for animals. I do. I mean, he does too, but I have that weird, like, mother instinct where I just want to take care of something and I feel, like, so bad to leave an animal by itself. And I'm sure if I did, like, really, really want another dog, like, so, so badly, and I was really, yeah, he would let me, but we know that that's, that's a little bit too much. Like, this is enough for us right now. He's a handful. He's such a handful, oh my gosh. He's gotten so big, too. He went from, like, 12 to 55 pounds. Yeah. It was most likely to... Rams. <laughs> throw out the other person's items. What? I kind of don't want to answer this one because I feel like we really wouldn't throw we would away each other's that. stuff. Yeah, that's okay. Another question. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Who is more likely to get drunk? <laughs> okay, that's another. That has multiple. Three, that has multiple two, layers. Two, one. We're only saying that because I'm a lightweight, but he's more likely to drink alcohol in general. Yeah. So I feel like. But my alcohol tolerance is ridiculous. Yeah. So he so. can drink a lot of beers and he's he's good to go. I have one and I'm I'm fine. It's always good to know your limit, guys. Don't push it and drink responsibly and with someone who can take care of you if you need to be taken care of. So we've yeah. never ever both been like crazy drunk or anything Yeah, like usually that if she time, drinks, yeah. I stay sober. If yeah. I drink, she stays Especially sober. Especially because we're both diabetics. Like we, we make sure sober. that we're yeah. on top of things. And that's what it's all about is, you know, we, we live with this this problem in our lives and really it's more of a, a hindrance, but at the same time, when you sit there and you have somebody who is there to take care of you and, you know, help yeah. you have fun to make sure that you don't have to... <laughs> worry about those things that you can live out a, a you know, semi-normal life, it, it helps out a lot. So as long as you're responsible with it and you are on the same page, then that definitely helps. Bottom line is, be careful. Be careful. So, the next question is, who is more likely to sleep until noon? Three, two, one. Yeah, there's something that's just so nice about sleeping when the sun is already up. I just get so cozy and warm, and especially when I hear him, like, around the house doing stuff, making coffee, playing his video games, whatever, that's when I feel the safest, because I have a lot of anxiety when I sleep at night, so I usually sleep pretty late. Remy, stop digging. It's a carpet, not dirt. <laughs> Who is most likely to ignore their phone when their mom calls. Hmm. Three, two, two, one. What? <laughs> well, I just feel like because I'm at work and I can't exactly answer um, the phone like when somebody calls me in general, let alone you know, I said myself people. because my mom and I just talk so frequently that I know that if I don't feel like talking or something's going on, she'll understand if I ignore it. And I feel like he wouldn't ignore it because they don't talk as much. So if she's calling, there's probably a good reason why she's calling. That's true. So he might ignore it because he's at work, but he'll definitely call her back. And I feel like the same reason for like, it, let's say like your mom was to call me, I would answer it immediately because it's not often that she calls me versus if my mom calls you, like you would right. answer it immediately. And because if your obviously mom there's something me. going on. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, right. I think we should do one more. Okay, do you want to think of one or? I got a very easy question. Okay. Who do you love and want to spend the rest of your life with? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I'm just kidding. Sweet pie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she does not want to. Sweet pie. She's upset. No. Oh, baby. Here's our oh. whole family. <laughs> Please give us a like. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you have it. Ask us more questions. We're more than happy to answer anything that you ask. 
Uh, and follow us on Instagram if you want. Yeah, I will put both do. of our Instagrams in the description as well as the bottom of this screen right here. And if you message us and say that you saw this video, we will follow you back. On top of that, thank you everybody who asked us questions. We yeah. really appreciate everything. Thank so give them a follow too. He literally never leaves us alone. Thanks guys. Bye. From the future Preston family. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>